come to this woman in the media conference? Why is it important for you to be here today? Well, as a woman who has been in the broadcast industry for the past 41 years, it is important for me to be here today to impart to my younger sisters and to others who have an interest in media my experiences, my joy, my passion, and my happiness for having been in this industry. After all these years, I still am as excited as I was the day I first walked into a television and radio station. So. Well, I own my voice in media because I first recognized the blessing that I've been given from Almighty God to be able to use a microphone to impart information to hundreds of thousands of people at one time. So I recognize that this is my gift and my blessing at the same time. Well, I look as challenges as an opportunity to get to my success because failures help you overstand success and without a challenge sometimes it's just too easy so when I have confronted my challenges I face them I look at them and I'm like how do I get through and around and over this so it allows me to use my strategic thinking and skill set as a communicator and it's work more often than not but First and foremost, I'm inspired by Almighty God, my parents who instilled in me strong principles and values that anything that my mind conceived and believed, I could achieve if I truly was committed to it. And so that has been my mantra through my career, through my life, and it's worked. Well, I think it's a changing climate for media. Everything is digital, a lot is the internet, and so traditional modes in communications are changing before our very eyes in the 21st century. So what I say to young women is be prepared. Acquire, and I say this to men as well, but the focus today at the Women in Media Conference is for women. And so I say do not let being a woman be an obstacle. For me, I've used it as an advantage. A lot of people say, was it a disadvantage being a woman at a time in radio where there were hardly any women? No, I saw a clear path and I saw an opportunity. I didn't see an obstacle. I saw a, a, a chance for me to pave the way because I had that kind of, I'm an alpha female. So I don't, I didn't, when they were like, oh, it's a male dominated, I was like, oh really? Well, show me the man that's making the decision to put me in position. And that's how I have approached my life and my career. Actualize your personal power. Realize that anything that you want to do, you have the capacity in yourself to figure it out. You must be passionate about what it is that you want to do, and then you have to navigate the currents of life to figure out how to get to your final destination. You know, interestingly enough, I started uh, doing radio after my good friend J. Michael Harrison at WRTI uh, invited me to be a guest DJ on his program, The Bridge, for its fifth anniversary show. And after I finished doing my stint, he said, you know you should be doing this more often. Um, and so I started for my nonprofit organization, Soul Sanctuary. I started doing Soul Sanctuary Radio as a Penn alum on their student station. Uh, and then it, it's evolved into a podcast that's been going on now for a little over eight years. But uh, my opportunity at WURD came after the unfortunate passing of Fatima Ali. And I came in as a substitute host, and the, the audience uh, reacted positively. And so now I've been there two and a half years. Yes. Well, you know, I think um, by and large, though we don't like to admit it, I think society still thinks of any kind of media, on screen or on radio, as being a male-dominated industry. And the fact that we can have 51% of our nation's population as women, and we think of anything as male-dominated, is a shame. I think that women's voices, and particularly women of color's voices, need to be uplifted and, and uh, provided channels to engage with people as often as possible. We need 
that perspective. We need that uh, energy uh, to balance what we have going on in mainstream media. And so if uh, we can inspire more young ladies here today to move down that path, then I'll be very, very excited that that, that could be the outcome. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I'll, I'll save the, the, the fullness of this story for the panel, but I will say that people don't think that you will be physically intimidated in a job where you're in the media. I've had that happen. I know peers that that's happened to, writing for major magazines, on major news networks, um, and if, you know, it's happened to me personally. This idea of we can't sit down and have Congress and talk about topics that are important and move towards, you know, bringing that to light without conflict is something that women have to speak up more about and, and be firm about making sure that our opinions are valued just as much as anyone else's and our stories are being told.